I am Anil Kumar and here is a trigonometric equation from the previous test papers. The question here is cos of 2x minus 4 cos square x equals to 5 sin x where x belongs to real numbers. That means we have to provide general solution for this particular equation. Now this equation has both cos and sine terms since uh, we have a sine term and these cos squares can be related in terms of sine we should be writing a quadratic equation in sine itself. So what we will do here is we can write cos square x as 1 minus sine square x and cos 2x as 1 minus 2 sine square x. That should help us to solve this equation. So let's substitute these values and solve. So cos 2x I'm writing as 1 minus 2 sine square x and we have 4 times cos square x as 1 minus sine square x equals to 5 sine x. Okay, so let's open this bracket and simplify. So we have 2 sine square x minus 4 plus 4 sine square x minus 5. Let me bring them to one side equals to 0. So now we can combine the like terms. So as far as the sine square x is concerned, we have 4 plus and minus 7. So we get left with 3 minus, I mean, sorry. So these are the two sine square x terms. So we have 2 sine square x, okay. The sine x terms, there is 1, which is minus 5 sine x. The constants are 1 and minus 4 means minus 3 equals to 0. So that is the equation which we have. Now we are looking for product and sum. So product of two numbers should be minus 3 times 2 which is minus 6 and sum of these numbers should be minus 5. So the numbers are uh, so the bigger number should be negative, so it is 6 negative and 1 positive. I think that should help us to simplify this. So it is 2 sine square x, negative 6 sine x, plus sine x, minus 3 equals to 0. We can take 2 sine x common. So we are left with sine x minus 3, plus we already have sine x minus 3 here equals to 0. So sine x minus 3 is one of the factors. The other one is 2 sine x plus 1 equals to 0. That means that sine x, I mean, that means sine x equals to 3 is one of the solutions. The other is sine x equals to minus half. Now, as you know, that does not exist. That is not a solution. So, we'll forget about that, but find solution for sine x equals to minus half, right? So let's simplify and find the answer for sine x equals to minus half. So when we say sine f x is minus half, we really are looking for two solutions. One of them, see, let me write here all silver teacup, or we can say cost rule. Sine is actually negative in quadrant three and four. So we are looking for two solutions which are in quadrant 3 or in 4 within 2 pi, right? So these two solutions are, now we can again use special triangles to help us find quickly the answer which is 1, 2 square root 3 and sine is opposite, so this angle is pi by 6, correct? So we get the acute angle here is pi by 6, correct? Now the principal angle will be pi plus pi by 6. You can call this as 6 pi by 6 and this as 12 pi by 6 as 2 pi. It becomes easier to add and subtract, correct? So we get x1, one set of roots will be, which are in quadrant 3, will be 7 pi by 6. And the other ones, x2, will be in quadrant 4, which will be 11 pi by 6. Now, since we need a general solution, it's very important to understand these things, right? Otherwise, you're going to lose a lot of marks. And the time period for sine is 
2 pi, right? So we can write this plus 2 n pi. Is that okay? I mean plus 2 n pi. Now where n belongs to integers. So that becomes a general solution for this particular question, right? So I like you to notice and understand the domain while well, you are answering trigonometric equation that really helps also look into the links below which will help you solve similar questions and prepare you better for the test thank you and all the best